I'm lonely. I know I'm surrounded by a sea of people, but nevertheless, I'm lonely. Nobody loves me. And by nobody, I don't mean anybody over 30 or anyone under the legal age. I don't mean males. I certainly don't include family. I don't mean unattractive people, or at least unattractive to me, which is obviously subjective. I don't even mean the majority of the attractive women under 30 who are out of my reach, which narrows it down a bit. Actually, to be honest, I just mean Jenny. She is everybody in my world. And if she doesn't love me, then nobody does. I know this doesn't make sense statistically, but I've realized the world works differently from math. Or does it? Hey, Stan? Hey. I haven't seen you in years. Yeah, how long has it been? I don't know. 10 years, five months, two days. <laughs> I'm sorry, I've got a thing for numbers. I know. So do you live around here? Yeah, just around the corner, but I don't get out much. That's probably why, because I come here all the time. Oh, there it is. My failure to recognize that the world is mathematical. It's all statistics. My waiting around at home, miserable, complaining, playing the victim, Facebook stalking, wasn't helping my statistical chances of bumping into anyone. Well, Jenny. My life is going to change. I'm a mathematician. I know data. I'm good at data mining, good at finding patterns. There must be patterns in everything, even human behavior. They can be learned, right? It was 3 p.m. Saturday. We met, intersected at the corner. She was walking down the street, I was walking up. The possibilities she could be here, cafe, restaurant, bookstore, window shopping, all in one area. Jenny was my ultimate proof the previously unsolvable problem. Why Jenny? Well, just look at her. Well, actually, look at me. I can't hold eye contact. My heart beats faster. I sweat. I look shifty. My feet are shifty. I can't quite talk, and I want to get out of there, and yet I really, really want to stay. She says nothing. And it's a nice neighborhood. I like it. But I hear... Invite me up. I'll do anything to stay. They lock people away for things like this. Hallucinations. Or is it delusions? Whatever's in his mind is deeply locked away. Only let out in the form of letters. Yeah, paper with writing, sent by snail mail to your house. The fresh smell of warm afternoon envelope. The scent of paper, ink. The thought that someone took the time to think, to write, to communicate his deepest thoughts and feelings to you, it would melt me. He would melt my heart every single time. And yet, in person, not a word, not a whisper. As if he had never ever sent one. I liked it though, the secret world. Didn't want it to end. The feeling of nobody knowing except him. The secret that I was special, we were special. Surrounded by a sea of people, often feeling absolutely alone. Except that one person knows you're alive, cares you're alive. It made me feel alive. So, I'm just about to... Yeah, I have to go. Someone to see, a date, an appointment. I died a little with those words. Okay, well, I'll see you around then? Why do you have to say that? What was he trying to tell me? See you around reeks of possibility. Was it a question or a statement? Almost positively 30% a question and 70% statement. And then we walk. Her to the west and me to the east. Just like that Murakami story on meeting the 100% perfect girl one beautiful April morning. What I should really say is... Hey, Jen. Yeah? Do you remember when we were in middle school? 